What's going on you guys? How y'all doing today? So we're gonna be headed to two different car meets today. So this one I'm going to right now starts at 7 a.m. and then the second meet starts at 8 a.m. So, so we'll probably leave early from this one and go head out to there. And it should be a really nice day today. So I know both meets are gonna be packed. So there should be a ton to show you guys. And I did post on my story that I'm gonna be at these two places. So hopefully I'll meet some of you guys as well. And this is gonna be my first time taking the R6 out to a meet. So that's really exciting too. I definitely just wanted to throw on some mods before I took it out to a meet too. I didn't want to go completely bone stock. I at least had to get rid of the tail. That's CT5B over there. Pretty sure. It looks really nice. But man, I'm glad I'm going to meets early right now too. Because <laughs> give it another like 3-4 hours. It's probably going to be like 100 degrees. So I'd much rather do it right now. Get it knocked out before it's unbearably hot see some cop lights up there so we're just gonna chill right now all right meat is right inside here so we already made it i think i see a bunch of bikes in there Let me go walk around real quick. See if there's anything cool I can show you guys. Now this right here is insane. Full crazy wide body carbon fiber Audi RS3. What the heck? <laughs> this thing's insane, you guys. Look how wide these rear look how wide these rear fenders are. What the heck? That looks sick. That looks so sick. And a single exhaust pipe. This thing has to sound pretty wild. The door panels are all carbon fiber too. <laughs> dude, this dude went all out. That's insane, man. What the heck? The S1K is just casually just sitting over here. I think the white is probably the best colorway to get on an S1K. If I was to buy one, I would definitely do that. Or the the red is really unique too. I like the red. This thing has like a bronze frame on it too. And engine cover. I love the front little wheel cover it has. It has the red, white, and blue. And those with the full exhaust sound ridiculous. Got this RSV4 right here with the SC project system. This thing probably sounds wicked. Cause you guys know how good these these RSV4 sound. And then what else we got? This caught my eye definitely. Again, this colorway that with the S1K. Yeah, this thing's sick, man. I'd love to pick up one of these. And the rear sets are probably like the craziest thing. Carbon fiber. And just the material look of everything. That all black ZX6. That ZX6. This colorway is really cool. With the red outlining. Yeah, this thing's nice. He's got the M4 on there too. Yeah, the all black looks really sick. I actually thought about one of those too for uh, 600 I was going to get. MT07 with the full Acra too. Yeah, I know come from the R7. I definitely love this bike. And with the teal wheels, it's pretty wild. Another ZX6, but look at this right here. This one's crazy. And it's got the full sprocket system. You don't see these exhaust systems often either. I rarely see them on bikes, but they sound great. And we got another R6 back here, and we're twinning because it's uh, 2020 as well. I almost actually got an orange one. I tried to buy it, but someone literally bought it um, like a day before me. Yeah. 
See, but he got me beat because he has a slip on at least. I'm still rocking my bone stock canister. Well, I just met these dudes right now. One on the Speed Triple and then another on this ZX6 right here. So, about to go head out to the other meet together. I don't know what's going on up there, a cop saying something. Now, that's the meat right up there. Oof. Hercon Storado right there. I think I'm just gonna park up right here. Park. I'll probably park up right here, I think. <laughs> what time is it? Oh, yeah, I ain't even start yet, bro. Interior. This thing is insane. Look at this rear tire, you guys. Bro, that's insane. And this whole like drag spoiler it's got on there. And this one's like a full race build. And then you got kind of the street build right here. What else we got? R8, V10, I think it's a V10 plus. Got some carbon fiber in the engine bay. Looks good, man, and this thing's lowered. Okay, now we got all the bikes that pulled up. R7, this ride of mine. Look at this, man. Look how wide this rear tire is on this Bosa. Like what? It's literally a car tire. This thing has to be ridiculously fast. S1K double R. The full Acra system. Definitely sounds pretty crazy. And look at all this exposed carbon fiber on this Ducati right here in the sun. Hold up. Before. And this guy's got the aero exhaust. I love these aero systems. You don't see them too often, so. The older ZX10 is pretty clean. All right, look at these. Look at this exhaust. Look at these headers. The matte carbon. That's pretty cool, man. And it's single sided swing arm. And this is a Triumph. I haven't seen one of these before. I do not know anything about it. But this is cool. It has a lot of that matte dry carbon. I love the asymmetric headlights on these S1K gens. It's something about them, man. It's just so aggressive. But there's a huge turn out of bikes. And it goes down there, too. 
All right, you guys, we're about to head out of here right now, but my GoPro battery is not doing too hot, so let's see how quickly we can get down the road with this thing still uh, alive. <laughs> That's funny, bro. Forgot the kickstand. It's, it's getting hot as... What's well, YouTube friendly? It's getting really hot right now. So I'm trying to dip out of here right now. That dude's ripping on it over there. Ooh, seat's about to be so hot. All right, you guys. Let's head out of here right now. Yeah, bro. Yep. Yeah, I'm about to dip. Bro, Alright brother, good, good to meet you. Yep. Alright brother, ride safe. Now let's see if my plate flies off. Cause I don't even think I showed you guys. But I lost one of the screws <laughs> to my plate. And it's a paper one, so this thing's just flying around, bro. I might just like put it in my pocket, bro. I do not want to lose the plate. I think it's still on there. Yeah. I'm so happy I got to go take this thing out to a meet. Again, that's pretty surreal too, you know, being on my my R6, my dream bike, one of my dream bikes, uh, taking it out to a meet. But okay, I'm still good. But seeing everybody else's bike and everybody with a full system and me with the stock exhaust just makes me feel like wow. I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> I really did switch that up. It just convinced me to get that done sooner than later. Well, I need to do an update video on the bike because I threw on actually a lot of mods. If you guys follow me on IG, then you knew what I uh, did to the bike. Everything I've added on there, but for you guys on YouTube, I need to go film a quick video uh, showing off everything because we've got it looking a little bit better so pretty important parts I've thrown on the bike yeah, man, I haven't regretted this purchase at all I'm like beyond happy with this bike right here uh, the past few the past week riding this has been amazing and I just can't get it up it another cyber truck I've been seeing these things <laughs> so often I'm not even gonna lie but yeah I don't have a complaint about this bike at all this thing is exactly what I wanted super aggressive bike and that's what I really was looking for oh my gosh these brakes are so good <laughs> Wow, <laughs> this thing's got some speed to it, man. I'm gonna have to blur all that out because this is YouTube. But if y'all wanna see what just happened, go to my IG. <sighs> wow, <laughs> dude, this thing feels so nice. This thing rips. This is not not like my r7 this is <laughs> this is a totally different animal but 
But yeah, man, I think that about wraps it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Ride safe. Take care. Peace.